Hi, this is the second tutorial for the composition part in Maya and render layers. Uh, after getting the render layers, just uh, double click on the footage uh, project window and uh, choose the images and hit open and it will ask for ignore state or unmet. Just uh, select choose and ok 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 a couple of times and this is our uh, rendered uh, uh, images and just uh, select the diffuse uh, layer first diffuse uh, image and drag it over the timeline to have a new uh, composition timeline and um, in this uh, case uh, after that uh, what we need to do we can uh, in put the shadow or we can uh, drag the ambient occlusion over there so, so first uh, what I am going to do uh, ambient occlusion take and it changes multi level to multiply blending mode so um, you can also um, just hit T and uh, lower the opacity and you can see the difference after uh, it, it it creates some realism for your scene and uh, now what you need to do we need to just uh, drag the shadow and you can see definitely the shadow we can control the shadow oh, opacity and other type of effects so it is a very uh, basic uh, matter you can and after that what do you need to do we need to have a new layer and that layer is gonna be a new adjustment layer and this layer uh, on this layer uh, we need to add a effect that is the lens blur blur serpent lens blur and uh, what it creates it it will take the uh, data from the jet depth and um, after that uh, go to the project uh, window uh, go to the project window sorry and uh, we will drag the drag the jet depth layer over it and make it invisible then on select the adjustment layer and go to the effects panel and uh, depth map layer choose its uh, it is going to get that jet depth information yeah you can see clearly uh, I, what I need to do I need to select the invert because yeah select the invert to have the uh, far distance blurring out you can uh, lower the amount also and uh, by this way uh, we need to we can just uh, tweak it uh, you need to ju you can just uh, play you can just play with the settings over here uh, to have a good a uh, balanced format of your uh, jet depth of field appearance so this is the composite uh, com yeah uh, you can definitely see and this is the compositing uh, workflow uh, it is a recommended workflow and uh, I can uh, tell you that uh, if you have a CS3 after effects or CS4 uh, it is good but uh, CS3 you must have CS3 and uh, earlier person may not be work well probably I don't know if it will work or not but I recommend you to use CS3 or later and um, what we need to do here now we need to just uh, select the uh, adjustment layer and uh, yeah and after that what we are going to do we are going to the uh, you can actually you can uh, make animation of the jet depth information what you have given to the layer um, you can think of that also like uh, clicking on the invert depth map uh, scene here sorry iris radius radius and you can choose increase or decrease uh, your uh, scene like was like your recommend maybe so in this case we are deleting it and uh, we are just making the uh, iris radius uh, option similar but here on the uh, left right portion or right 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 portion you can see there is a edge so how to do it you need to just uh, click on the repeat edge friction what it creates it it just uh, blurs out the scene for the corner 
and that way you need uh, you, you you have a good solution so it is our uh, end of the competition level and i think it is helpful for you thanks for watching